What's up, everybody? Garrett back here. What I want to talk about today is five movies I think you guys need to check out if you're a fan of Drive. So if you guys saw, I just did an unboxing and showcase of Second Sight Films' newest box set for Drive on 4K. Uh, a bunch of you asked me if I'd seen it yet, and I said, listen, when I do this video, this follow-up video, I'll tell you what I thought of it. The, the quality looks great. That type of movie with the neon lights and overlooking the city and, and driving around the streets, I just think that movie was made for this kind of quality. So uh, I think it looks fantastic. I like the addition a lot. Uh, I had this Blu-ray, uh, Steelbook. That's what I had before I got this box set. I'm going to hang on to it because I love this image. And um, when this movie came out, I was a big fan of it. I were getting the movie posters. I was getting some art prints. I got some jackets. I got the jacket he wears in the movie. I got a black version of that jacket. It's called the stealth version. Uh, man, I got the gloves. I have it on a, a display case with a hammer. I mean, I was digging that movie a lot. Really got me into synthwave music as well. Uh, so I was going down some rabbit holes after I saw Drive. And that also made me a big fan of Ryan Gosling as well. So. After that movie was made, I was kind of going through my catalog and finding other movies that were very similar to that, that I wanted to either revisit or anything that came out around that time that I wanted to check out because there are a couple of real hidden gems uh, that came out around that time that I think had an influence from the movie Drive. And in case you guys haven't checked them out, I want to tell you guys those now. Now I only picked five, I picked two from the past and two that came out around that same time that I think you guys need to check out if you're a fan of this movie. Now the first one is a 1981 film by Michael Mann. It starred James Caan and it's called Thief. Now for whatever reason I could be wrong, I think when they wrote Drive, it was a little bit influenced by this movie. Now the one thing I will say is if you take a look at the, at the logo, it says Thief in that cool blue uh, kind of hyper blue lettering, similar to like Drive and the way it's written in that hot pink. So Thief is a cool movie and I think this was the debut movie for uh, James Caan as well. Uh, he always does a great job and basically this is about him just kind of a loner and his job he's a thief. So any way he can do it. I mean it's, it's very similar to the movie in the sense where he was a driver uh, and there's different rules this guy plays by. And again, all hell kind of breaks loose here, but Thief, this is a Criterion Blu-ray taken from a 4K master. Uh, looks really good. I assume this is probably still available. I wanted to kind of do this video as well because I know Criterion is having a big sale coming up. So if you guys haven't checked this out, it might be one that you guys want to kind of look for. So again, this is my first pick. It's an older movie, 1981. And I think Drive was a little bit influenced by this movie and it's Thief. Now, the next movie is actually an earlier movie, a 1976 movie. This is considered a classic. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, not one I've really even talked about on this channel yet. Uh, man, this is a Martin Scorsese movie, and it is Taxi Driver. This is the version that I have. It's that nice Blu-ray box set. I do think it does have a 4K. Um, I haven't jumped down that road yet with it because I just think this is such a beautiful addition here for this movie. Uh, man, Taxi Driver is such a great film. I had this poster hanging up in my room as a teenager. I mean, I absolutely love this movie. Now, is it very similar to Drive as the aesthetics? No, not really. But again, it's, it's about a driver. This guy's a taxi driver. And man, he, he's just a real quiet but cool character. And as much as this doesn't resemble Drive, I think that you'll really like this one if for whatever reason you haven't seen this, uh, I think this is definitely one to check out. So Taxi Driver is my number two pick for a movie you need to see if you like Drive. All right, so these next ones I'm gonna choose actually came out a year or two kind of after Drive. So I believe Drive heavily influenced some of these movies. Uh, I'm not sure a lot about like, hey, were these books before? I don't know that kind of stuff, but I do know that I did find these and search these out and, and saw them at the theater because they've had that kind of feel like Drive did. So the first one I'm gonna talk about actually is very, very similar. It involves a driver and it is Baby Driver. So I think this was a 2014 movie. I could be wrong here. It's actually a 2017 film, uh, kind of an all-star cast here. I mean, you've got a lot of big names that you know from other things. But uh, this is basically about uh, it's criminals and, you know, this guy Baby is the driver for this crew. And uh, man, it's a real cool movie. Um, it's got good aesthetics as well. Great story. Um, I think Baby Driver is one that you guys need to check out. It was by Edgar Wright. So um, I definitely think that this is something that you guys would enjoy if you haven't seen this one. 
I remember seeing this in theaters and absolutely loving it. So uh, you got that hot pink look and stuff here, which again makes me feel like they were going after kind of that drive element. And this one also focuses heavily on music as well. So as much as drive was more of like synth and stuff like that, this takes a lot with music and kind of adds it to the movie. So guys, Baby Driver is my number three in the movies that I think you need to check out if you're a fan of Drive. All right, the next one I have is a real cool movie. Aesthetically, this thing looks great. I remember when this came out, I absolutely loved it. I was buying the movie posters and stuff for it. Uh, such a cool movie. And this is Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler. So guys, if you have not seen Nightcrawler, I highly recommend this one. Basically, Jake Gyllenhaal is, is a guy that's kind of down his luck. He's a photographer. And uh, he ends up getting mixed up in um, a business. He starts a business where basically he wants to film and photograph crime scenes or any kind of accidents that happen so he can sell his info and his video and pictures to news stations. Um, so things kind of get out of hand as well in this, where basically he's kind of almost playing the system to beat out anybody else so he gets paid. So a uh, very cool movie, suspenseful. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it. Jake Gyllenhaal always does a great job. Uh, I think you guys definitely want to check this out. It does have a lot of driving in this one as well. So Nightcrawler is my number four pick of movies that you guys need to check out. Now the last one I have, and to be honest, out of all these, this is probably my favorite one. And it's one that I don't think I've heard anybody ever talk about ever. And uh, Ryan Gosling is in this and it has an all-star cast. Uh, I saw this, I think this came out in 2012, the year after Drive, so this may have been like his next movie, and I remember seeing the trailer for the first time and being like, wow, this is like right in the same ballpark as Drive. Um, this movie is called Place Beyond the Pines. Uh, I mean, look at this cast, look at this lineup you got here. You got Ryan Gosling, you got Eva Mendez, Bradley Cooper, Ray Liotta, rest in peace, uh, are in this movie. No one ever brings this thing up. Um, this may have been his follow-up to Drive, Ryan Gosling. And uh, he plays a very similar character, very soft-spoken, kind of cool character named Luke. He's like a, a, a expert dirt bike rider. He works for, like, the circus and does, you know, tricks and stuff like that. And, and you know, his skills get taken to a different level when he needs money. And, man, this is just such a fantastic movie. It's almost like two movies in one. Uh, very, very well done. I'm not even sure exactly who wrote this movie. Um, but, I mean, again, it, it says here it got four stars, riveting crime thriller, one of your best. Um, I, I don't know why I never hear anybody mention this movie. And I love this movie so much that, uh, man, I see this here. This is the jacket. Like, again, you, you, this is the jacket that Ryan Gosling wears in the movie. That's how much I loved this flick when I saw it. It kind of resembled, again, Drive in a sense where... You know, he had a jacket in Drive, something that was just so memorable. Same thing, he had this cool, like, red leather jacket that he would ride on the motorcycles. And, uh, man, I absolutely love this movie. And, guys, if you have not seen this, I highly recommend A Place Beyond the Pines because it seems to have kind of snuck under the radar for a lot of people. And, um, guys, that's my top five movies that I think you should check out if you're a big fan of Drive. If you are fans of any of these movies or if there's any movies that I just mentioned that you haven't seen, please post a comment down below and let me know what you think of these five. Maybe there's some more that you want to add to the mix that maybe I've overlooked. Um, but I think those are the ones that you guys really need to check out that have a very similar feel as Drive in some way or another. Now, I did pick two other movies up that um, have not really the same kind of concept as Drive, but they do in some ways feel a little bit like it. Now, the first one was actually done by the same guy who made Drive. It's his kind of follow-up movie, and it's called Only God Forgives. Um, now, this is a very different story. Ryan Gosling does play a character that has, like, I think maybe, like, 15 lines of dialogue in the whole movie. Maybe. A uh, very soft-spoken character. He gets kind of involved in more of, like, fighting world. Um, this is a kind of weird one. Um, it's not as action-packed as I thought it was going to be. But I believe that this is a real good movie when you can sit down and just kind of take it all in. Uh, it's got that neon aesthetic, kind of like we got with Drive. Um, also, the music here, very similar to stuff we would hear from Drive. Um, so again, I think they were going for a similar aesthetic look, but just a different story altogether. So this is kind of like my honorable mention is uh, this one here, Only God Forgives. So guys, check this one out if you haven't. 
Now the last one, again, it's not similar, but there are some similarities in a way. And it's actually a film by Ryan Gosling that came out um, around that time. Like as soon as he was getting really hot with those kind of movies, he put this one out. It's called Lost River. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the date is on the 2013 film. Um, and what about this one that I think people might really dig is that it has a lot of the same cast that you would see from movies like Drive and Place Beyond the Pines. Like all those characters from those movies show up here. So it's just very interesting that he finally did a movie here. Uh, not one I hear a lot about, but he used a lot of the same people that we see in those other movies that I talked about today. So guys, those are my honorable mentions. So that kind of compiles my list. If you want to say there's seven there, great. But like I said, those five are ones that I think really have some kind of cool feel and similarity to Drive. And the other two, they have the similarities, but the concept is very different. So guys, this was a little bit of a different video for me to do here, uh, talking about these movies that I absolutely love that are kind of in their own little genre. And if you like this idea of me talking about other movies that kind of resemble uh, some of our favorites, let me know. I'd be happy to kind of try to dig deep and find that again. But hopefully I found a couple gems that you guys can check out um, if you are a big fan of Movie Drive. So thank you guys again. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure to hit that like button. It helps the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, because again, I'm putting out content usually at least once to twice a week. Um, also, my biggest video that I've ever done is in the works right now, and it's the one I've been asked about since the day I started this channel, and that's a movie room tour. And guys, it is coming, I promise. Don't you worry. But for now, I hope this is a cool way to hold you guys over. And this is Garrett at Born to Be Rad, and like always, stay 